Okay, we're going to do the crossbow radial ulnar joint now. What does my radial ulnar joint do? Supination. It also does pronation, right? Okay. So we're going to do supination and pronation, okay? So, let's see. The shape of the joint, I know I have kind of a kind of concave, okay? So it's going to be rolling glide in the opposite direction, okay? So radius, if you guys feel, I mean, if you get confused, radius is, can you feel your radius flip over your ulna? Okay, so you're going to be mobilizing radius because my radius flips over my ulna, okay? So that's the way you remember it. The um, proximal joint is going to be convex on concave. When we get down to the distal joint, the radius down here is not concave, my radial head, my convex ulna, okay? Explain that again. I've... No, explain that again, what you just said. Oh. I'm going to show you both a proximal and a distal radial ulnar glide. At the proximal joint, the joint is the radius is convex, the ulna is concave. Okay? And then down distally, it is concave on convex. My radius is concave down there. Convex ulna. Okay? That is my sorry, ulnar. So I'm going to stabilize the ulna. Usually come underneath here and stabilize the ulna. Underneath, okay. I'm going to mobilize the radius, which we do we have first? Do we have ulna or dorsal? Dorsal? Okay. So for a dorsal glide, which would be this direction, so I'm going to have to turn around the opposite way. I'm going to show it this way. I'm just going to pull. Or, oh, I, I'll just show you this way, pull. I would usually push, okay? I would usually, you know, work it so I can push because it's always easier for me to push. But for, okay. So stabilize ulna. For a So stabilize ulna. I'm going to just mobilize radius, okay? You want them in like a neutral position. 35 degrees. 35 degrees, okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a little bit of traction. And then for a dorsal side, am I doing the right one first? Dorsal glide, so it is convex on concave. You can see what I'm doing. So convex on concave is rolling glide in the opposite direction. So if it rolls this direction, I want you, um, and this would be supination, I'm going to be mobilizing for pronation if it's rolling glide in the opposite direction. Okay? So you guys can see that. Did I just confuse them? Yeah, oh yeah, okay, anyway, yeah. just to, I'm sorry. <laughs> I keep it simple. Yeah, just keep it simple. Okay. Shape of the joint is convex and concave. So to do a, I just try to show them how it rolls. Yeah, you blew me away. You blew me away. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to show them how it rolls so it's the opposite that you're yeah. mobilizing. But anyway. Okay, so anyway, if we're just going to do a proximal glide, if I'm going in a dorsal direction, if I'm doing a dorsal direction, this is going to improve pronation, okay? Yeah. Anybody need to see the joint? No. Are you pulling with your right hand? Are you pulling towards you? Are you pulling towards you? I'm going to do a dorsal glide. So dorsal is toward the back yeah. surface. Okay. So I'm doing it this way. <laughs> okay. But you're kind of yeah, so doing going the same way. You're kind of doing this with the radius. So the radio has round. You're kind of doing this. Pushing back and rolling. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this is what's happening in the joint. So I can do pronation. So the radio has doing this. Close raised, yeah, and I'm coming more like this part and I'm going to push more. I don't want to like, you know, this type of thing, okay? So I use more the thenar eminence, or my hypothenar eminence there, okay? Straight arm, and then just dorsal glide, so I'm coming this direction and pushing. So you're okay? kind of doing this, like a yeah. reverse scoop. Yeah. And you can see my hand when I do 